YouTube. Today we are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in basic JavaScript on challenge 83 of 113. So today we are going to build JavaScript objects. So you may have heard the term object before. Objects are similar to arrays. Instead of having, or instead of using indexes to access and modify data, you use, you can access the data in objects through what are called properties. So as you can see in this object, uh, in JavaScript objects, there are curly brackets. That's how you know it's an object. Um, we have a property with the name and the value of whiskers. Uh, same with legs, same with tails, same with enemies. Uh, so yeah, in this example, all the properties are stored as strings. However, you can also use numbers as properties. You can even omit the quotes for single word string properties as follows. Make for none. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the key, the first value that is like the name of the property, uh, can you can omit the quotes. However, if they're non, if the object, if an object has any non-string properties, JavaScript will automatically typecast them as strings. Okay, so we're gonna make an object that represents a dog called my dog, which has the properties name, a string, legs, tails, and friends. You can set these object properties to whatever values you want as long as the properties basically are there. Okay, so legs and tails are numbers and friends is an array. Okay, cool. So as you can see in the code block, we have const my dog. We have a variable called my dog, and we can tell it's an object because it is assigned to curly brackets. So that means it is a JavaScript object. So we need to have properties. We're going to have a name. And again, we can omit the quotes and say name and then colon. And it wants it to be a string, so we can name it spot. And then we separate each property with a comma at the end. And then we want a property called legs. So we have legs. And this has to be a number. So we can have a dog with eight legs and then a comma. And then we also need a property called tails. And it will have one tail, because that's weird. And then we finally want a property called friends. And this has to be an array. So we use the brackets. And we can have another dog, my god, dog, and me. And now we have an object that we can access the properties, which will give us the values that they are set to. So legs is the property and the value is eight. That's all we should have to do for that one. Hope to see you guys in the next video.